Well, I had not made a video in a week or so, so I thought, well, I'll make another video, and I'll just do a plug-in video. So, I'm uh, trying to find some Christmas bells, and there's actually one already in um, BBC Orchestra um, Discover. But this is one from um, Flow Stoner's Quillcom, and it's called Christmas Belly. What's strange about this is it has all these presets, and they're sets of what doesn't sound like bells to me, like electronic bells or synthesized bells. Um, but the last one sounds very bellish. Um, What's crazy is that each preset has wind, and you have to turn the wind down. Here's the wind, the blue dial at the bottom here. So it's like some of these are chimes. So the wind, you hear the wind going, but you don't see the, the branches moving. Why don't we see the branches moving? The wind's blowing so hard. Man, there's some things to this... UI here that uh, they need to improve apparently because all this snow if the wind was blowing that hard would be totally blown off these limbs okay so that's so the actual plug-in instrument is that sounds like a mallet that's like a felt felt tipped mallet Okay, so let's see what these other ones are. I, I want to turn the wind down because the wind is kind of like unnecessary. But each of these has wind. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. Interesting uh, instrument. So let's see what all we got here. Program 19. That was 20, so we're going backwards. I already went through them once. That almost sounds like a xylophone or marimba. Woo. Okay. Um, what else we got here? 18. These don't sound like bells. That sounds a little more bellish. Program 15. We could turn the wind back up and see if that makes it sound more Christmassy. I don't know if I've ever s associated wind with Christmas. Okay, so let's keep on going here. Uh, back to 14. It's like there's two instruments. You know? Man, it's really loud on the left side of this keyboard. Okay, so 13. This still sounds like a marimba instrument. It's like it's not changing. It's like a xylophone or a marimba. Oh my god, what is this? Okay, so we just turned the chimes off with this button right here. Um, ooh, there's some latency. But you can still hear it, so. So, that's a bell. That sounds like an electronic bell. Blue Jesus. Interesting. Every time I change this, that's chimes. That's what they think the chime sounds like. This is cool, don't get me wrong. 
This is cool instruments, uh, but this is not bells. I don't know, maybe it's it's synthesized bells. I guess it's just bells that have some sort of strange effect. But okay, so I, mean, I can't deal with the wind, man. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Before I go in here. No more wind. Okay, this is very strange. Let's uh, keep it going here, going back to nine. More wind. Okay. Major latency. I don't know, maybe slightly bellish. Okay, this sounds like it's going to be bell like. It's like a, a cowbell that hangs around a cow's neck. Okay, let's try it. So strange. I mean, that sounds bellish. That sounds like a chime. It's called That Damn Bell. <laughs> okay. That was 9 of 20. Or no, 8 of 20. Okay. So, let's turn the wind down. Boy, this one sounds interesting. Okay. Okay. That's kind of weird. Okay, let's go back to this. That does not sound like a bell at all. <laughs> okay, so this is number four. Sounds like almost like a celeste or a harp. Okay, that's that's not what we're looking for. So far, number twenty is the one that sounds the most like bells. Okay, so let's turn the wind down. Chimes off. Boy, that's very subdued. Okay, that's... Bring up the solstice. Bring out solstice bells. There's a scale being played and it sounds very Christmassy. Okay, hold up. Chimes off. Oh my god, I happened to play what it was playing and I used all white keys. Whoa, that was just circumstance, I, I promise. Okay. Um all right, so there's only one left here. Here it is. There, there's already zero wind. Oh, that one sounds pretty bell. Here, let's do this. Let's um, let's go to. We're gonna record arm. We're already record armed. So uh, 
um, let's just, just do this. Oh, you know what? Uh, stop and delete all. Fix that, I think. Should be this. Well, what just happened? by golly. Stop! No, delete them all. Where is it at? Remove items. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let's give it a metronome. I gotta get used to using this. Click. We're gonna use the click. We're gonna go six eight six eight. And I have no idea what tempo is. so let's just play and see what it sounds like. Oh Way too fast. Let's slow this down on the way. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so, um, all right, now this should stop it and take it back to the beginning. Yes, it did. Okay. So now we're going to... <laughs> I'm terrible. Okay, stop and delete all. Okay, so now... Okay, so let's, um, it should just, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, 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 three, one, two, three, 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 two, three. Okay, so. We stop and then go back to the beginning here. We should be able to, uh, if we stretch this more, or even hit E and take it into the MIDI editor. This is an inline MIDI editor. Pretty amazing. And this is in 6 8, so that means 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3 is the count. So, um, supposedly, if we select this, oh crap. I don't want to play the in instrument. I just want to select it. Um, and then we hit quantize. It'll quantize the whole thing. Process. Quantize to, yeah, 16th notes. It's fine. So now, if we go back to the beginning and hit play, it should be in perfect timing. Um, okay, well, you know, I don't know if it's quantized. There's a quantized feature here, and it should work. I might have to add it, actually, manually. 
actions. Show action list. Where's quantize? Quantize freeze up quantization. Quantize events using last quantize dialog settings. Quantize. This is just straight up quantize. Q. Okay. Okay. Add. Add one. Okay. Okay, back to the beginning. Now it should work. It should work. Oh crap. So let's hit quantize and see what happens. Did it do it? All right, and then there's another bell. Um, there's another bell that I wanted to, you know what, let's just reassign it on this. So let's go into effects for this. Let's remove the belly, and then we're gonna add PCBC Symphony Orchestra. And over here, tuned percussion, tubular bells. Let's listen to it. Oh, there's nothing because they're not in the range. Interesting. Okay, well then let's try a different instrument on here. Tuned percussion. Xylophone. Okay, let's play it. That's what's cool about MIDI. After you recorded it, you can change it to a different instrument. Man, that quantization would be awfully nice to work right now. <laughs> okay, so, you know, this is just an idea, but let's, look, let's listen to these tubular bells anyway, because I want to listen to them, um, even though I can't get them to work with that, because I think that they're out of the range of that. I'm trying to get it to work here. Wow, I wonder why I can't hear tubular bells. Oh, here they are. Okay, so it's... Pretty interesting. Okay, so this is just examples of you know bells and what you can do with Reaper and stuff. I was thinking about like trying to add. Let's see if we can drag this down a track. Let's let's do this. Let's uh, delete that for one thing. You know, copy and delete notes. Okay, so let's get out of this editor. Click on this and then hit. Yeah, and then go back to just. Whew, this is just MIDI. So, let's see if we can like duplicate the track or drag it down. There we go. So now it'll play there and then we re record a new track up here. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. And then we're going to say that this is still. Okay. So let's just practice for one playthrough and then see what we can do. Oh, you 
you can't even hear it. Oh, it's because that's programmed on there. We should put a different instrument on it. Well, there is no instrument at all on there. Okay, let's put those, um, let's put that belly back on there. Uh, where is it? Oh, my goodness. There's a lot. Quill comp. Christmas belly. Okay. Oh, my God, the wind. <laughs> Turn the wind down. Okay. Okay, we're controlling two instruments here. Okay, we're going to turn the chimes off. <laughs> turn the wind all the way down. That's a crazy little um, plug-in. Cool bells, though. It's some cool bells. It doesn't have any sleigh bells, though, so it could use that. Okay, so let's, um, let's try this. And... Uh, So, um, let's stop and go back to the start. How does this go? Okay. So, put this back just like it actually is. Okay, so, let's do that again. <laughs> okay. It's I think that's right. Might not be in the right key there. That's right. Okay. So stop and it takes you back to the beginning. Now let's record arm, not my voice, but it is record armed. It should just record. We move the track. Up. We move the instrument over a track, so the track itself is still still record armed. Okay, let's just record. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Where was I? Okay, I think it was here. Okay. Okay. Alright, so this is just an experiment um, to see how good of a, a job we can do with, like, free VSTs to, uh, that are just, like, bells and just, like, orchestral stuff to give me some idea as to how realistic of a uh, project it would be for me to try to do Carol the Bells in, in an arrangement just to get, like, practice. Because I think it's a very interesting piece of music. So, let's listen to that again. Um, back to the beginning. And then, don't record on any of these. And what's strange is if I turn this off, you don't hear me. And you don't hear me. Okay, so, uh, let's just play. Okay. You know what? What's funny is I, I always forget to turn the metronome off when I listen to things back. 
Um, so back to the beginning and then... Okay. I think it sounds pretty All good. Right. So this is just an experiment um, to see. I think that the, I think that these three plugins are worthy. And there's a lot, a lot, tens of thousands more of them that are just as worthy. So you know, I'm probably gonna keep on messing with this, and I'm probably gonna look into the actual piece of music, listen to it a bunch of times, and write down the sequencing and how many measures are in each sequence and what exactly transpires and then try to mess with it in, in uh, Reaper here and who knows maybe by the end of December I'll have a half of a project we'll see what happens alright y'all uh, I'm gonna be done with this video hope y'all have a great day hope I didn't um, robe you up too much with my robe have a great day have a good one bye